Well, my little friend. That friend be in the Testo 770-3 clamp meter. And in this demo today, we're going to check capacitors in two different ways. One, sitting outside the system on top of the rooftop, we're going to check the microfarads. And then two, we're going to install it into the system and check it under load. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is turn the dial to the ohm symbol. Now in there we have ohms, we can check diodes, we can check capacitance. And the cool part about this is that it's in auto mode. So if you stick it on a capacitor, it will automatically know that it's, it's reading a capacitor and will spit out the microfarad reading at you on the screen. So we can go ahead and check that. Grab our meter leads. We have a 10 microfarad capacitor at 440 volts. We stick that on there nice and firm. And there we go. 9.93 microfarads. So we know it reads correctly with the capacitor outside of the system sitting on top of the rooftop. Let's check it when it's all wired up. So now we've got our system running and we're going to check this capacitor under load. First I wanted to show you the, uh, the clamp feature on the amp probe and how it drops down. Now that allows you to hook on to the wire rather than trying to grab it like conventional style amp probe. So what we want to do, is we want to hook onto the start winding of the motor. This is a condenser fan motor by the way and the motor is brand new, just so you're aware. We're going to set the meter to amp. We're going to read our amperage in AC at 1.9. And as you can see above it, there's a handy feature to have. We're reading the frequency of the motor. You can see it jumping around a little bit, but reading the frequency in hertz, um, different applications can come in real handy. So now we'll move on to the next step, checking the capacitor under load. Well, I've got some alligator clips hooked onto my capacitor and we're checking the voltage across it. And that's going to give you the back EMF of the motor. So we're going to go ahead and turn our meter to volt. We're going to read what we have across that capacitor. Now what we can do is set it to average and we can read read the average volts coming into the meter. For argument's sake, we can go for 478 volts. So the final step to check in microfarads of a capacitor under load is to take your readings and plug it into the formula I'm about to show you. Our first reading was our amp draw through the start winding, which was 1.9 amps. We're going to multiply that by a constant of 2650. Our next reading was our voltage, which is our back EMF of the motor across the capacitor. We're going to divide that by that number, which was 478. We're going to equal that out to 10.5 microfarads under load. Now most run capacitors in the HVAC industry have stamped right on it plus or minus 6%. So we are in the safe range with a 10.5 calculation of our microfarads under load. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I hope you enjoyed the meter. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to my channel. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. It's HVAC Know It All guys. Please check it out. You guys have a great day and work safe.